Hello and welcome to our AFT Aero 9 Quick Start Video Tutorial Series, Video 3. In this video, we are going to discuss unit system preferences, the workspace, placing pipes and junctions, and defining pipes and junctions. AFT Aero has the capability to use both English and metric units with English units selected as the preferred units by default. You can easily change the preferred units from the user options in the tools menu. The preferred units section is where you can find your unit system. There are multiple options that allow you flexibility to work with a unit system with which you are most comfortable. Clicking any of the units in the preferred unit section displays a drop down menu where you can change the preferred unit for that parameter. To save your new desired unit system and preferred units to use with other model files, click Save Page as New User Defaults before clicking Save and Close. The workspace window is the primary area for building your model. This is a drag and drop canvas interface that you will build the model of your piping system on. By default, this is just a blank canvas. To help you organize your pipes and junctions in a neat manner, you can turn on the grid from the Arrange menu. In addition to enabling the grid, you can also choose either 2D or isometric pipe drawing modes. To build the model, you use a combination of the icons in the toolbox on the left. If you are not sure what an icon is, you can hover your cursor over it and a tooltip appears to identify the name of that object. Also, pay attention to the useful tips that appear lower in the toolbox while hovering over an icon. A junction is a general term we use for any toolbox component that is not an annotation or pipe. This model will use two tank junctions and one valve junction. Connecting junctions with pipes influences flow, pressure, and temperature distribution through the pipe network. You can double-click the pipe drawing tool to draw multiple pipes. Hit the escape button to turn off the pipe drawing tool. Multiple junctions may have one or multiple pipes connected depending on the junction and its use. However, all pipes require a junction connected on each end. Once the pipes and junctions are drawn on the workspace, it is time to define them. For this model, propane has already been selected as the fluid. As a reminder, follow the blue highlighting to define the minimum required input. I will define the pipes and junctions now. For tank J1, I'm entering an elevation of 0 feet, a pressure of 100 PSIG, and a temperature of 95 degrees Fahrenheit. For valve J2, I'm entering an elevation of 0 feet. I'm selecting K factor as the loss model and entering a K factor value of 20. For tank J3, I'm entering an elevation of 0 feet, a pressure of 50 PSIG, and a temperature of 95 degrees Fahrenheit. For pipe P1, I'm selecting steel ANSI as the pipe material. I'm selecting a size of 12 inches and entering a length of 20 feet. For pipe P2, by default, AFT Arrow will remember the most recently used pipe material, nominal size, and type, saving you clicks. All I have to enter is a length of 3 feet. Hold right click on a pipe or junction to display its input information. Another way to easily view input information is in the model data window, which displays input data in a tabular format. The model data window has three sections, the general section at the top, the pipe section in the middle, and the junction section at the bottom. Each section can be resized, collapsed, or expanded. The general section displays basic information like the number of pipes and junctions in the model, solution control tolerances, and fluid properties. The pipe section and junction section display input information about the pipes and junctions on the workspace. Not all pipe and junction input parameters appear by default. You may have noticed, when navigating to the model data window, the toolbar changed. The first button in the Model Data toolbar opens the Model Data Control window, which allows further customization of the displayed pipe and junction input parameters. 
There are a variety of customizable options in the model data control window, and changing the displayed pipe and junction parameters is just one of the things you can modify. With all the pipes and junctions defined, the status light is green and you are now ready to run the model. In summary, AFT Arrow allows you to define the model in your preferred unit system. The workspace is the canvas to place your pipes and junctions, and you can check your inputs in the model data window. Thank you for watching, and feel free to refer to other topics in our AFT Arrow 9 Quick Start Video Tutorial series.